community of Decorah coming together after a tragedy. Two 18-year-olds, Dalton Hemeseth and Carter Eink, died this past weekend after a car crash Friday night. Now, there was a celebration of life this evening at the Decorah High School, and KWWL reporter Travis Breeze tells us how people supported each other during this difficult time. Decorah High School students say the last few days have been very hard, but one thing that has kept them going is support from each other, and that is what tonight's event was about coming together to remember Carter and Dalton and celebrate their lives. The first thing I'd like to say is just wow. Uh, how lucky are we to live in a community where the outpouring of love and support uh, has been shown and I know it will, will be continue to be shown to the families. Just as the holidays were ramping up for many, in Decorah the high school gym was filling with people remembering two of their own, Dalton Hemeseth and Carter Eink. I would say Carter and Dalton both were tremendous leaders for the school and community. At the request of the families, we did not go inside with our cameras and took this video from a YouTube live stream. But we met classmates of Carter and Dalton outside to hear some stories. I feel like dealing with it like together has really like helped us. Dylan Mulbauer says his last memory with Carter was when the power was out this past Thursday and Carter found a way to lift their spirits. He comes into my storage room and pops out with some Nerf guns and starts shooting at us like we're all eight again. And it was just so showing that like the last memory I have of him just reflected that he brought joy to everybody. People inside remembering Dalton for his leadership and compassion as president of the school's FFA chapter. Dalton's personality was one where he wasn't afraid to approach anyone and start talking. His bubbly personality helped him meet so many new lifelong friends across the state during his year of service. The two touched hundreds of lives, and those people now must lean on each other for strength. They didn't know how many people they impacted, but they totally did. They totally had uh, a personality and energy that could bring anyone together, and I think tonight that's what it's about, of coming together for Dalton and Carter. In Decorah, Travis Breeze, News 7, KWWL. And there were also three other teens in the car. They were friends of Dalton and Carter. They were injured in that crash. The Iowa State Patrol and Winnesheet County Sheriff's Office continues to investigate.